I'm here in Burma, also known as Myanmar, at an exciting time, at a time of change for this country. And we're going to visit villages in the dry zone, where the people are the most vulnerable. We arrive at this school and there are five different age groups all being taught under the same roof. No wall partitions, no proper flooring, so they can't use tables and chairs properly because it's uneven. The headmistress of the school that we talked about what education would mean for these children. I ActionAid have been working with Burma since 2000, but this is the very first time that the sponsorship programme has been available here. She's suffering this kind of indignity of having to beg, having to work, and then when she gets this money, the first thing she has to do is to go to a local house that's producing alcohol and buy it for her father, and her father has stopped her from going to school. She's a very, very beautiful girl as well, and clearly that's a danger in that kind of environment, and the possibility of her maybe having to uh, work as a sex worker and, and work up on the border um, and she desperately wanted to go back to school. This is clearly a child who just given the right help if, if, if somebody were to sponsor her if she is then enabled to go back to school. Here was this woman, Kien Sin, who had actually received funding from ActionAid and what that did was facilitate her ideas and her business dreams. She had gone out with $100 and purchased a pig, not only a pig but a pregnant pig. The pig has these piglets and then she then sells them. Her house is in order, her children are going to school. This huge pig is kind of grunting under the house, who's pregnant again. But what I love about this idea is the capital is then put back into the money pot, waiting for somebody else who needs help. I've fallen in love with the country and its people. Seeing firsthand how easy it would be to instigate change here. And with ActionAid and sponsorship, it seems so within their grasp that it makes it very exciting because the smallest amount of change here will unlock their futures. <laughs>